Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how we can check SQL Server status for uh, when uh, when it is when, when they are all part of the domain. I already done the same, but I didn't add uh, something uh, into beautiful things like uh, uh, HTML for HTML format and like just conditional formatting and that. So in this video, I'm going to cover all these points what I have not covered in this. Okay, now if I go here. See, as of now, in the C drive, there is nothing, right? In the now test path or health check reports. So I'm having one server. I'm This is standalone machine I am doing in this machine, okay? So first of all, here I am retrieving the text uh, data, okay? After that, I am filtering all the services all the SQL services and what are the services like uh, I don't want like SQL browser I don't want SQL writer I don't want SQL telemetry I don't want so that's the reason I am not uh, I'm filtering all these okay after that I am selecting only system name name state and uh, I'm starting about as per the state okay now these are the services okay just to retry to show this result if not required you can comment it out so otherwise, I want to this path. I want to uh, uh, I want to come down this uh, HTML path into C drive. If you want, you can give that uh, full path as well. I'm I'm taking the formatting date and okay. So for that, I am constricting the HTML output from the path C drive slash SQL services hyphen with the dot dot HTML. I will get output file with this name. After that, I am taking one array and variable. Okay, now in that I'm opening the style body, how the body size should be like and the H1 uh, header one, table, table data, table uh, header, table data, uh, like table row, row and this like even, uh, I mean to say like uh, for the uh, even rows, it will have one color and for overing color, it will have one light gray color, right? Okay, now for that, what I'm going, I'm taking, uh, I'm taking this output slash into slash rows, and after that, I am reading one by one row for each object in the whole column. I'm taking only state uh, state column which is running to, uh, which is running. Then it should be uh, show as a green. Uh, if it is stopped, then it has to red. Apart from these two, if anything, it has to show in the black color. Okay. And this is the like formatting. Okay, after that, I am combining the all the uh, HTML inputs. Okay, here so like HTML slow, opening uh, opening tag, closing tag, opening tag, closing tag, slash header, and uh, now I am joining with the end rows. Okay, here. Okay, and I am dynamically uh, use express uh, yeah, yeah, that this dynamic expression into dynamically expecting the rows into this jo using join condition here now this is the output file slash html and i'm taking the output into this output file okay this variable now i the, if i want to do the same i want to first time you want to install this uh, this thing as of now uh, i already installed this error if i want to show you how i used to get okay and so this is how it will get. See, already I, I already install. If it is in first time, then you have to install. Otherwise, you have to comment it. After that, if you want to export this data, same into export, you have to import this uh, module as well. Okay. So as of now, this is like uh, what I need to do here. So same data I'm I'm taking into HTML format. I'm taking into C, uh, Excel format. I'm taking into uh, like test format okay one bot uh, one shot three birds okay I'm just executing this uh, script I got this okay now if I go here go to C drive see services dot MSC this is how uh, I got the data services dot uh, open Excel sheet see now you can do whatever filtering that you want okay now this is HTML. See this is how you used to get the data. See the running running stop stopped. Okay. So as of now, I am showing if I so if I place the cursor, see it will light gray color. 
overing i have given okay and this is how uh, you used to get see uh, sql services upon with the timestamp as well now whatever i am doing here this is all in stand alone server what if i do the, uh, in this okay let's do in the domain uh, as of now this is like my domain environment dc node 1 node 2 okay so if i open the powershell with run as administrator mode if i click execute okay i got this error why this error i got it right i don't have internet connection and that's how that import module and sometimes if you want to uh, like uh, if import su successful uh, if you are able to install this module that's enough you will get output but uh, if you need read that you need excel sheet uh, excel software install on that jump server this is my, not my jump server but you need to consider this is node 1 as a jump server because i don't have much resources to have another jump server okay so how this is how here now go to this domain environment go to c drive see this is how what is the latest one this one is the latest one see this is how you used to get the report now you can send the same to your client and like uh, you can I mean whenever you came to shift you can check uh, the status and everything now one thing uh, whenever if you don't want to this uh, status to be displayed here just you can comment it here you can comment it so that you can get don't get this output see you don't get this output previously we used to get like this right like this okay so see it means it is working in standalone in a computer uh, okay and it is working in demo environment as well i am going to give this uh, script uh, in the of in the comment of this video i'm going to pin uh, that as well and i'm going to upload in the google drive as well to be on safe site you can get it from there and uh, from comment as well the only thing what i'm expecting from you is the other how useful it is just provide your comments whether you like also you just provide that will boost me to do more videos such like this thank you i hope you may like my initiative bye